Since my province isn't handling quarantine regulations too well, we're still under strict lockdown rules. This means that the gyms are still closed and thus I'm forced to work out at home. Honestly, I went through this really, really bad with COVID fatigue and fitness burnout, and the only thing that managed to help me get out of it was Pamela's videos. So, with that being said, I stayed disciplined and worked out for five times a week for three months, and here's what happened. So let's get started with the befores. This is me on November 2020, and this is right when I finished the Chloe Ting program and decided to go on to Pamela's workouts. I know it looks like I don't really have a butt in this angle, it looks super flat, but the reason for that is because this is probably the leanest I've ever been in my life. Like you can kind of see my abs and I'm not even sucking in, which is great for me. But with that being said, my attitude towards nutrition, towards workouts, and my well-being was definitely not at the place where I wanted to be. Although I was the leanest I've ever been, I also really haven't been eating that much. And if I was eating, it wasn't the right foods. So at the end of the day, I wasn't at the place where I wanted to be. I just felt like I was under eating. I was always tired. I was never really productive and I didn't really have efficient and smart goals. Luckily, I was aware of this and I decided that I needed a change of pace. So that's when I logged into Instagram and looked at Pamela's videos and all her workouts and decided that this may be the girl for me. So I started to work out five times a week change my nutrition and take my goals more seriously and i'm really proud to say that i never missed a workout which is really good and i've actually attained some of my goals so before showing the results i wanted to take you guys on my journey tell you what i've learned what happened how my body transformed how my mind transformed and even my eating habits and move forward from there Okay, so to be fair, the before, since it was back in November, that was definitely before I started overeating during the holidays. So I do anticipate some weight gain for my final results. And overall, I just decided that I wanted to eat a little bit more because I knew I was under eating. And I still had the goal of gaining muscle in my glutes. I remember one of the first videos I ever tried from Pamela was a booty workout. And that was probably like the first time I've ever been sore while doing a 10 minute booty workout. So I knew that this is super special and I wanted to go ahead and work with it. Honestly, there's a lot of things that I learned on this three month journey, but I think one of the things that I really, really appreciate is the fact that she is super versatile with her workouts. You'll see on her Instagram, she has like five different types of programs throughout the week. There's like a slow, there's a dance, and there's a hot and sweaty one. But I really just appreciate the fact that I can always pick and choose and kind of tailor it to my needs and my goals. And another really good thing that I've learned to appreciate was being able to push myself during the workouts. I'm not sure if you guys tried any other YouTuber or whatever, but honestly, if you try Pamela, like her workouts are insane. I remember I had a workout buddy and whenever we were having like a lazy day, or we didn't want to go too all out, we would say anything but Pamela because we knew her workouts were hardcore. And you can even see here, I know I was kind of like tired, but I was definitely like, it was hard. But I think that's what I appreciate the most, you know? Because when I was at the gym, I, I love lifting weights and I loved pushing myself. But when I'm at home, since I'm only using body weights and only doing like a certain number of limited moves, I didn't really have that luxury to push myself like, you know, too much, um, or at least it doesn't feel like it. But with Pamela, I felt like I was like really, at some points I was half-assing it and I knew because <laughs> I didn't want to do it. So there's always, always a lot of growth when it comes to her workouts. And I think that's what I appreciate. And that's what I got from all the hard stuff. <laughs> And since she posts the workouts on her Instagram every week, it really just helps me stay accountable because I feel like if I tried to do this on my own, I would like have a really light day and then like a really heavy day and it would be just uneven. But with her, I feel like she definitely paces it and tries to pick like new and different videos so that it won't get boring.
Okay, so the nutrition is probably the most important part in my transformation, in my opinion, for a number of reasons. Like I mentioned, back in November, I was kind of under eating and I wasn't really fueling my body properly. Even though my goal was to gain muscle in the booty, I just was under eating. And when your main mission is to bulk, but you're not really eating the calories for it, it just doesn't really make sense. So I was already losing there in that aspect. And I recently discovered that when you're working out to Pamela, you definitely need all the carbs that you can get. Especially for me, since I chose the 45 minute workout program, um, all her workouts were sweaty, intense, and had very little breaks. So it's really important to make sure that you're a top energy and fueling your body properly. So with that being said, that was super important for me. And then another aspect which is really important in terms of nutrition was also the discipline. So like I mentioned before, it was back in the holiday season and I continued to overeat past that. But ever since I started the Pamela videos and when I started to get sore during the workout videos, that's when I knew that I had to take my nutrition a lot more seriously. So on booty days, I decided to go really hard on the protein and do a lot of homemade meals for myself. And then for the lighter days, like the cardio and the arm days and the ab days, that's when I decided to go a little less protein heavy but still get adequate amount of nutrients and macros so since i had to fuel my body properly and eat a little bit more that definitely opened a lot of doors for me in terms of nutrition and it also opened my mind up to what i was doing in the past so once again, since I was really lean back in November, I was under eating, but when I started to incorporate more food, more volume, I was actually starting to feel healthier and be excited for food and the workouts because I knew I could enjoy both. And what's also really important is that I found out how to balance my food and my nutrition. If you guys have watched my videos before on my channel, you'll know that I always encourage the 80-20 rule, which is basically living a healthy lifestyle that is sustainable. But unfortunately for me, I kind of felt like a hypocrite because behind cameras, I was still eating junk and not really following it and feeling guilty for what I was eating. But when I started to you know, eat a little bit more and make sure that I'm properly fueling myself for Pamela's workouts, I've also been more open to eating food that I don't usually have, like deep fried food. I've been eating a lot more Filipino cuisine because I know at the end of the day that I still have a lot of time for my goals and food is always there for me. I've also learned that one quote-unquote bad meal will not set me back from all my goals. I know I always say this and I know I've like learned this throughout the years of my weight loss journey, but sometimes I feel like it's like a reoccurring lesson that I had to tell myself. I think in the past I put too much pressure on myself and had expectations that weren't really realistic because like I said I wanted to gain a booty but then I wasn't eating and then on top of that I wanted to lose weight but I wasn't really eating all the right foods so it was, I was kind of like not making up my mind and consciously self-sabotaging so that is not the way that we want to go so honestly I am super happy that Pam since her workouts are so hard and intense I'm glad that I actually have the opportunity to eat more and not be afraid of it or not feel guilty about it it because now that I know I have to eat and I always have a choice and I don't need to feel guilty about it I feel like that makes me feel more happy and it kind of bring back that burning passion that I had for fitness and nutrition and health I know you guys are super excited to see the results but I just wanted to go through one last thing just to build up the momentum a little bit more I think the main lesson that I want you guys to take away from this video is the fact that we're human and we always have time to pick ourselves back up. If you guys know me or if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I'm a huge health junkie. So when I went through that two month burnout, I was honestly kind of embarrassed and I felt ashamed in some ways because I'm like, this isn't me, I need to you know, always be on my game. But reality is, we don't need to always be on our game. We can have some of our low points and still be proud of that because at the end of the day, we're human and we can't always be 100%. And to add on to that, since we're human and we're always changing, my attitude and my goals will always be changing as well. So I know I mentioned before in the past that I was super lean back in November, but a little spoiler alert before you see the before and after, I did gain a little bit of weight, but I'm not mad. 
Okay, maybe I am a little bit scared because I just feel like I just don't want to gain all the weight that I had back in the past, but it's healthy weight. You know, I can tell I'm eating a little bit more and I'm definitely feeling my body a lot more for the workouts. And on top of that, I'm gaining muscle, which is my goal. So even though I'm gaining weight, I still feel really good about what I'm doing. And I know that my body is always changing. So if I don't like it, then I can always make another plan to reach another goal. Finally, the part you've all been waiting for. <laughs> this is me after. I know my underwear line and my camel toe was like really bad here <laughs> and also my pooch, but like I said, I know I gained weight, but it's because I want to gain more muscle and because I want to actually have a healthy relationship with food and not under eat most of the days. So I know you'll see that it's like a little bit more pudgy, but it's okay. Ignore the underwear lines, I always wear a thong, but not when I'm at home. Since I did gain some weight, I do recognize that this probably isn't the transformation that I wanted, but it's probably the transformation that I needed because I'm eating a lot more, I have like actual goals when it comes to fitness and nutrition, and I feel like I'm like on top of my game, like more than I've ever been ever before. So right now my goal is to continue building my booty, continue to get stronger both physically and mentally, and just continue to truly live that healthy lifestyle. If you guys are all the way here, thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video. I'm gonna end it now, but please comment, like, and subscribe for more content. It means a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!